Hey, what's up everyone? Mark with M2M Detail. In this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your GCC plotter. And most of you guys watching this video, you're probably trying to cut window tint right now and you're having some issues because that's what I was doing when I had issues, trying YouTube real quick, customer car in the shop. So I'm going to make this video nice and quick for you guys, get straight to the points, and I'll let you guys know what, what you shouldn't be doing or what's happening and how to fix that issue. So over here, we have the 72-inch VLX. 40 inch VLX Jaguar, and this one's gonna be strictly for paint protection film, strictly for window tint. Let me zoom you guys into the control panel and let's see what's happening. So we have the machine right now, so it's going through its normal process. If it gets stuck on that main screen before this screen, guys, just um, turn your plotter off and on. That happens a couple times here and there. So this is gonna be your regular main menu setup right here. Roll means if it's a uh, full roll on the backside edges if you're just trying to catch the front line you're not really trying to, to adjust the film single if you're putting in a single piece of material if you guys head down that will be for a roll and it will also pull the material all the way back to the front edge so you don't have to worry about anything pulling out from the back it's just going to be working in the front and so guys from here on you're ready to print if everything's set up right so right here you guys see that we are doing 25 grams of downforce and that's going to be for my regular tint we cut here. So say we had to change the tool, we got to go to ceramic film. We will click offline right here, guys. Then we'll go to tool selector. And we will go to two. So two is at 40 grams now. You see how that changed? Now, guys, say if you're um, trying to load this in, you're just pretty much getting the basic in. You need to cut the material and you need to adjust to cut the material. So all you guys will want to do is go into a tool. So right here, you can see we have four tools. All right, so pick one you want. Say we're going to be doing, I don't know, say we're on four, right? So say you guys clicked in four. This is 90 grams right now, right? 90 is super high, guys. You do not want to start there. So what we want to do is probably start at like 10, 15. So we will go back to enter. So you want to select this tool, right? Enter on that. Now we're going to click on fours. So you can see how we're at 90. We're going to take this all the way down to 10 or five. Oh, we'll go 10. So now we're going to click enter, right? Now you're right here on offline setup still. You will want to click on cut test. Once cut test cooks up, you will click enter right now. This will give you a circle with an arrow in it. And what you want to see, if it cuts through the material, but not all the way through the backing. You don't want to cut through the backing. You just want to cut what you're trying to cut. It's the top material, not the backing paper. So you would do this multiple times until you got a clean cut, everything peeled off you know really good without cutting the back of the paper so that's how you do that and you guys just keep moving it around keep adjusting the force you will get there it does take time to figure it out sometimes so we're going to go back offline now we're going to change our tool not yet i'll walk you so now you can see we're on still on the other tool we're at 10 grams of force and now we want to go back to our window tent one we're going to click offline and we're going to go to tool selector and then we want to go back to one. So here's one, this is our regular window tint. We click enter and that's that. And we'll go back online. Now we're back online. The machine will print right now as you see it. So if we send something from our computer, whoa, that was a closed one. So if we sent something from our computer right now, guys, we will be able to cut it. So now say you accidentally did this or you moved the film because you didn't like where the film was. You see how it doesn't have a set origin right now, guys? Your X and Y axis is not lined up. So you will click enter, new origin set. Now you're gonna have your, you know, everything's all back in order. So this is gonna be your length so far and your width of the material is 38.9. That's what's measuring. And that's how you guys do it. All right, guys, so um, hopefully this helped you out. I'm gonna walk you guys through the blades real quick and then we'll pretty much be done. Let me um, take this out for you real quick. So we're gonna pop this out and just unscrew this, right? And just like that, right? All right, guys, so here's your blade holder right here. If you guys need to change it, all you gotta do is squeeze this back piece, pull your blade out, just like that. Uh, you wanna keep these clean and stuff, guys. And what you guys really need to know is this blade right here should barely be sticking out. You do not want this sticking out really far. It will cut through your cut pad back here. Cut pads, this little white thing right here. So make sure the needle is barely out. And if you guys need to adjust it, you just twist it, untwist it. If you guys need to change it, just push in the back and pull it out. Don't, when I first did it guys, I was always undoing the whole thing, pulling out from the backside. Shouldn't be doing that because then you mess up where the blade's at. 
To put back in guys, you grab it from the top, line it up, and you just go like that. And you just tie it all the way down. Make sure this is really, not really tight, but enough where it's not gonna move. You want no play. If you do have play, it's gonna mess up. It will say sensor error. Don't want that to happen. All right guys, I'm pull you back out. All right guys, we're gonna do a quick cut test right now for you. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna put it offline. We're gonna go cut test. Oh, cancel that. We gotta move this film back. So we're gonna go back online. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna pull the film to the top. So if you guys need to adjust, go like this, back and forth. So we're gonna go all the way to the front, enter. Then we're gonna go on cut test. So, and then we're gonna click enter. And it's gonna tell you where it's cutting. Then we're gonna click enter again. So, all right guys, so we got our cut test right here. All right guys, so I'm not gonna walk you through this machine. It's the same setup, ain't nothing different. So I um, just wanna tell you guys a couple of little things about your machines. Um, just take your time, make sure everything's really good. Make sure you're on the right tool when you're selected to print on material, cut material. You wanna make sure you're on the right tool because that could be one of your biggest issues. Make sure um, you know, your blade's nice and tight. Make sure your forces are working. Make sure your pre-cuts are working, your cut test. You wanna make sure all that's working before you run your machine to cut the material. You don't wanna be wasting material, that costs money. So make sure everything's working right before you run through a window or a back window tin or wherever you guys are cutting. Make sure you do those cut tests, make sure the material is working right. And I'll show you guys a quick cut test on the window tip machine right now, just so you guys get an example of what you should be looking for. All right guys, so I know it's pretty creased up right there, but that is the cut test. What you're gonna be trying to do, you wanna be able to pick it up. If you can't pick it up with your hand, it's okay to grab a blade. So you can see how I picked it up. All right guys, so you see how it didn't cut through none of the backing. We have our circle out, and there's also a little arrow in here, which we can separate. So we are good, guys. So this is what you're looking for. You're looking for the material just to get cut on the top, not all the way through. There's nothing penetrating all the way through. The top came off nicely. So that's what you guys should be looking for. All right, guys, so I hope this video helped you out, and I hope it was nice and quick, gave you some you know, good concepts, how to use the machine, what you should be looking for. And also, guys, let me give you some personal feedback on the machines. I like them. I haven't had that many issues with them. Nothing where I had to contact the manufacturer to get a replacement part, to get anything like that. None of that has happened, so thank, you know, knock on wood. But overall, guys, the machines are great. The cutting is really good. They work quick, they work fast. I really like them. But let me um, show you guys the copper real quick. I almost forgot. So let me flip this one around because this one's on the hook. All right, guys. So, all right, guys. So right here is gonna be your copper. This one's magnetic. So if you guys are doing window tint or you got you're doing some type of material that has static, you will want to use this, and you would just leave it between the film like that. And this is going to help the film not stick to itself, so all the static will be removed with the copper. So if you guys don't have a copper or anything like this, make sure you guys get one. It really makes life a lot easier when you're trying to cut and you're having issues with the film sticking. Well, I mean sticking, the film will go all the way down, right? And then it would punch up and stick together, and then you're going to crease your film or mess up the material. So you want to make sure you guys have one of those for static. All right, guys, so that's pretty much the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Mark out.